Leicester had played three games in seven days at the beginning of March and took all nine points to remain in pole position in League Two. Jim McAnally names an unchanged lineup from the team that won 3 2 at Elgin. Colin Cameron makes two changes from the team that won 5 0 against Montrose last weekend. Michael Dunlop and Paul Curry replacing Stephen Tullock and Stephen Notman. The home side had the better of the opening period. A ball forward from Brian Gilfillan finding Rory McAllister. McAllister trying to create an opening but thwarted by the Berwick defence. On 10 minutes, a throw in for the Blue Toon created an opportunity for Dean Cowie to strike from distance, but his shot was wide of the target. Peter Head took the lead on 13 minutes, a corner from Graham Sharp and Brian Gilfillan with the header from 5 yards. The early pressure had paid off, a good delivery from Sharp into the danger area and no one picking up Gilfillan who bulleted the header high into the net past Billy Ball. Blue Toon continued to threaten and almost scored a second when Bald ran out of his area trying to cut out a long ball from Jamie Redman. Andy Rogers knocking the ball past the Berwick keeper, but he was too far out on the left and Ross Drummond was able to block the shot from Rogers and spare the keeper's blushes. More pressure from Peter Head just after the half hour. A long header out of midfield from Scott Ross was picked up by Rory McAllister. McAllister then picking out Andy Rogers to pull the ball back across the goal mouth. The referee giving a foul for a push from McAllister on Fairburn. Berwick weren't creating much in the opening 45 minutes. Chances being restricted to long range efforts. This one from Darren Lavery going well wide. There was another good chance for the Blue Toon at the end of the opening period. Scott Rossi's long ball out of defence, collected by McAllister. He tried to chip over Bald, but the Berwick keeper managed to get hands to the ball. The final chance of the half fell to the visitors. Another long range effort this time, and it was Lee Curry with the shot, but it didn't trouble Graham Smith. Some blue toon pressure earlier in the second half caused problems for the Berwick defence. Stephen Noble cutting the ball back from the byline and Andy Russell almost knocking it into his own net. The visitors were still finding it difficult to create clear chances. Dean Hoskins heading over from a Lee Curry free kick. A corner a couple of minutes later went into the six yard box, but it was collected by Graham Smith. Peterhead doubled their advantage on 67 minutes. Andy Rogers playing in Rory McAllister and the striker shooting low past Bald for 2-0. Neat touch from Rogers to release his strike partner and McAllister picking his spot to beat the Berwick keeper. Peterhead continued to push for a third. Substitute Fraser McLaren driving forward. His blocked shot falling for Dean Cowie to have a strike, but it was high over the bar. The pressure continued from the Blue Toon. Jordan Brown exchanging passes with Stephen Noble. Whipping a ball in from the left. Bald pushing it away for a corner. With 90 minutes on the clock, Peter Head grabbed the third goal. All three substitutes involved in this one. Ryan McCann drilling a low ball into the box. Fraser McLaren with the dummy and Jordan Brown with the finish. Good work from McCann to get the ball into the area and Brown in the right place to make it three goals and three points for the Blue Toon. Next weekend sees the league's top two teams meet again as Peterhead travel to Annan. <laughs>